No. <laughs> we were just having a discussion. This is my friend Joey. And we were discussing the fact that so many people think poodles are sissies. Well, if anybody says that about Joey, he simply refers them to his best friend, Michael Landon. Hello, uh, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. And he's awfully glad to get back with you. Well, actually, nobody ever calls him a poodle. He's a, he's a knish. He's a poodle, but it's called a knish. He's in between a miniature and a standard. And he's only a baby. Yeah, he's only five months. And Joey, of course, has nothing to do with little Joe. No. Well, I've been doing a, a thing called the Thanksgiving Parade with your Pa Cartwright for Logan's Dad, Dad, of course. Right. Well, we're going to have a parade of our very own right here on the Pet Set. Welcome to the Pet Set. Starring Betty White. And a favorite guy in everybody's set, Michael Landon. Love him, going on. <laughs> You say he's five months old. Right, yeah. And he should get to be a pretty good size if he's a knish. That's one above the, the, between the mini and the standard, isn't it? Yeah, it came as a shock to me. I thought it was just a miniature, and then he, he got bigger than my miniature real fast. How many do you have? Three. We've got a toy and a miniature in this one. Well, then all you have to do is get a standard and an imperial and a teacup and you'll oh, have the whole... Right. <laughs> Are they all black? No, I've got, uh, I've got a brown and a silver book. Oh. And a silver one. And you just have been kind of partial to poodles. Yeah, well, we had a little black cat, but the cat didn't get along with the poodles too well. So when I gave the cat away, I promised the kids I'd get another animal. So we got a little black dog. How many kids, Mike? I have five. Oh, so the, you have a pretty good full house. Don't right. You? You, we see you with horses so much. Are you a big horse man or...? No, I'd be like a busman's holiday. I, you I ride the horses on the show, but that's, that's about it. Go home and have the poodles yeah. when you get home to relax. Well, you know, every once in a while somebody around here says, what are you, do you prefer dogs to cats? You have more dogs than you do cats? And it's anything but. We'd have aardvarks if we could. You know, we just like anything around here. But in a studio situation, cats are not as easy to handle. You have to hold them. If they get away or, or, or spook with the audience or anything, then we have a problem. And there are so many different kinds of dogs. There's something like 116 breeds of dogs. So it gives a little more variety, but all cats are welcome. All Anything with a leg on each corner is welcome. And two-legged birds. People, not... Nah, really. <laughs> you know, it's funny how styles have changed. Poodles, of course, have come into their own... I guess it's, what, the last 10 years. Yeah. But styles have changed through the years. Uh, fads, I suppose, like fashion and anything else in dogs. And I'd kind of like you to come on over and meet a man who can attest to that and even has the papers to prove it. Would you like to come meet a friend of mine? I sure would. Excuse us. Bring with you on mine. Well, maybe not the papers, Mike, but certainly the magazine. This is Dick Bochamp, editor and publisher of Kennel Hello. Review Magazine. How long has Kennel Review been the number one dog magazine? Uh, since 1898. That long? You haven't been with it that long. No, I stepped in about 10 years ago. Well, we're going to have a parade, and we thought it would be a good idea if you were here as our authority to keep us honest. Are you game for that? I'm game. We thought it would be fun to kind of compare the styles of the 10 most popular breeds of dogs of 50 years ago and compare them to the 10 most favorite breeds of dogs today. You like that idea? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody ready? And it's a beautiful morning here in Pasadena, Betty. Now cut I that out. We're going to... One in the 70s, Poodle. And I tell you what, fellas, listen, I have a marvelous idea. In ten years, why don't we meet right here, right under the clock, and find out who's on first. <laughs> All right, love to. Okay. Well, Dick, I hope we see you long before that. Oh, I'm sure. Thank you, Dick Bochamp from Kennel Review Magazine. And Mike Lannon, don't you go anywhere, because Ralph Helper has a parade of his own from Africa, USA. All righty. Coming right up. Well, I don't know how you can follow 20 dogs. I really don't. But I, I think the only man who could is our own Ralph Helfer from <laughs> Africa, <laughs> USA. Mike, of course, you know yeah. Ralph. You bet. And what have you brought us today, Ralph? Something big. <laughs> oh, my brother Hollis. <laughs> Why don't we just bring him in and you All can All right, see. come on. In we come. In is coming uh, Frank Lamping, one of our uh, top men with the wild animals. Hello, Frank. Well, I'll stand right behind you, Betty. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> And we have the little one is Bandula, which we're going to give you for Hello, Betty. Hello, sweetheart. Come on in. Come on. And the next come in one line. up is Bimbo. Over here. Oh, that! And there's our love. Uh, and Margie's over at the other end. Oh, no, this is Margie. Where are we? Uh, here's Margie. Oh, I can yeah, tell I by the false eyelashes. Yeah. <laughs> now, in describing a parade of elephants, yeah. this is a gray, and then that's a gray. No, that's not. <laughs> but really, and truly, oh, pardon me, darling. A little gas there. <laughs> there are some things about about elephants that we really Told don't about the, know. Told the commissary, he wouldn't listen. <laughs> There 
there are really some things about elephants that are that are amazing. Did you know how tender they are? How tender are they? Well, actually, they're very tender, Betty. Uh, when, when, like Betty. when you pet or touch an elephant, you never do this because it tickles as though a fly is on their skin. So, you, in other words, you've really got to to touch them and pet them, and uh, so so that they feel it. Uh, plus, the the skin all around the belly line, which you can't see right now, is a very very thin skin. And when people see an elephant, they say, "Gee, they must be very tough skinned you know, and they're not. Well, now, it's, and also the feet are such a uh, surprise. Frank, Here, can you show up. us? Yeah. Can yeah. you show Come us here. Margie's? Give me your foot. <laughs> Give me your foot. Way up. Way that, up here. That's softer than you'd think. That's it? right. You see, it's like the sole of your shoe. Oh yeah. If, if you notice, she, she's your holding her trunk in her mouth to keep it out of the way. <laughs> yes, she is. She's not keeping it out of the way. She's getting, she loves to have her trunk long. I never Why know they ate peanuts and garlic either. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are a lot of uh, things about elephants that we, you know, we have, th they, how old do they live? Do they live to be 200 years old? No, that's a, a fallacy. Actually, about 75 is about the limit on, on elephants. And uh, there's all kinds of goodies about them, like they only have one gait. In other words, they either walk or they're in a run. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mike. <laughs> and they have pushy. like... <laughs> They have like 20,000 nerves in their trunk alone, and they even are, are uh, capable of picking up a dime laying flat on a, on a flat surface. So, and, and they are they are closer to the human. Can hypnotize I mean, they, they actually, they well, actually if, are very Hi, folks. Close. Here we are in Pasadena, California. <laughs> <laughs> But the trust that can Speak build right up here, between right? two, I yeah. would love, but I bet Frank could Holy show Holy mackerel, this is a fantastic <laughs> one. <laughs> Margie, move up. If I can hang myself. <laughs> move up. Thank you, Margie. We're going to, we're going to show you something here that I think you'll find interesting. Bimbo, come here, baby. Bim, stay. Come here, Bimbo. Bim. Come, come here. on, love. Stay. Over here, honey. Uh, we're going to show you something that actually we should be very quiet for a moment here, but this will give you an idea of the, the total trust that the animals have for the, the people that they work with. Uh, Margie weighs close to four on, ton, man. and uh, she, she puts her trunk in her mouth, as you Come can on, see, man. and she will lay down totally on Frank. Uh, on, Frank's worked with, with Margie for about 15 years, Come on, man. and um, Come on, man. they have total trust for each other. And of course, one little on, slip man. and be no, no Frank lamping, but the, the trust is just beautiful between on, the two man. of them, Betty. Come on down. There's very few that elephants that you could ever, ever think Easy. of doing this with. Isn't that great? <gasps> Holy mackerel. That is beautiful. And then at a command, he'll, right. he'll slide her out. All right. On your feet. Oh, Isn't that, great? that is beautiful. Amazing. She's giving him a kiss. Oh, I think that's love. I've heard strange things about Frank, but now I think that. Thank you, Frank, so much. And thank you, Margie and Bimbo and Bandula. And, of course, Ralph Helfer. And as far as you will see you back on the Ponderosa with Pa and Hoss and all them folk. You bet if we can get a big saddle for this guy. <laughs> we'll see you on Bonanza. And we'll see you right here on the Pet Set. This very